you know that more than 90% of SQL queries involve some form of join operation? That's right, joins are fundamental to retrieving meaningful data from relational databases. Hey there, SQL enthusiasts. Welcome back to the Knowledge Academy's YouTube channel. Today, we're going to explore two powerful types of joins, equi and non-equi joins. By the end of this video, you'll know how to harness these techniques to link data like a pro. So let's jump right in. First, let's quickly recap what joins are. Joins are used in SQL to combine rows from two or more tables based on a related column between them. Today, we'll focus on equi joins and non-equi joins. Let's first see what are equi joins. Equi joins are the most common type of joins. They combine rows from different tables where the specified columns have equal values. Essentially, they match rows between tables based on the equality condition. This is usually done using the inner join keyword in SQL. An equijoin ensures that only the rows with matching values in both tables are returned. It is straightforward and very effective for many common tasks. Let's understand this in a better way with an example. We have three tables books, authors and editors. These three tables are same which we took in the previous video. Links to these tables is given in the description below. Import it to my SQL workbench quickly. If you are new to this tutorial and want to know how to import datasets in the workbench, then you can refer to our previous videos in this SQL tutorial. Link to video and playlist is given in the description below. Now coming back to the example, suppose we want these three tables to list the titles of books along with their authors and editors' names. The common columns between these tables are author ID and editor ID. Let's write an equi-join query. First start with writing down required column names and its aliases in the select section, then name of the table with from statement. Now use inner join with the table's name. Here it is authors with alias as A. Now we will write on and the column names which are common in both tables with the table's alias as shown. Same process will go for joining the editor's table as well. In this query, we're using the inner join keyword to join the book's table with the author's table on author ID and with the editor's table on editor ID. This matches row by row values of the common column and gives only the values which are equal or same in both. This will return a list of book titles along with the first and last names of their respective authors and editors. This is a practical example of an equi join where we're matching rows based on equality. Now let's move on to non equi joins. These joins are used when the join condition is based on operators other than the equal sign such as greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, and not equal to. These joins are particularly useful when you need to match rows based on a range of values or any condition other than equality. Non-equi joins can be a bit more complex, but are incredibly powerful for specific use cases. Let's understand this with an example. Suppose we want to list the books along with their author's names, but exclude those authored by a specific author, say with author ID equal to 11. The common column here is author ID. Let's write a non equi join query. First, we will write down the required column name along with the select statement. Then in the from statement, we will write the table name. Then with the inner join, the name of the other table with alias. After that, we will join the table on author ID. Now we will write a conditional statement to leave out specific values from the common columns of both the table. This exception which we add in the common column of the joining table that computes to the non equi join. Let's execute this query and see what we get. In this query, we're joining the books table with the authors table on author ID, but we're adding a condition in the where clause to exclude books that are authored by the author with author ID equal to 11. This is an example of a non equi join where we're using a condition other than equality to filter our results. Great! Now you know the difference between equi joins and non equi joins. Equi joins use the equal sign to match columns, while non equi joins use other operators to define the relationship between columns. Let's see a more complex example combining both equi and non equi joins. Suppose we have a books table, an authors table, and an editors table. We want to find out which authors and editors worked on books that are not edited by a specific editor, say with editor ID not equal to 24. For this, we will write the desired column name with select statement, then the name of the table with from statement, with alias as Then we rejoin two tables on the common column from both table. Then again, the same thing for the other table as well. Then we'll write the condition with where clause stating the condition. 
which is to apply it on the common column of both the tables. Run the code and you can see the desired output. Here, we're using an equi join between books and authors based on author ID, an equi join between books and editors based on editor ID, and a non equi join with the condition books.editor ID not equal to 2. This way, we can get a comprehensive view of books, their authors, editors, excluding those edited by a specific editor. I hope this gives you a clear understanding of equi and non equi joins and how to use them in your SQL queries. Don't forget to practice these joins in your own SQL environment to reinforce your learning. In this next video of this SQL series, we will learn about SQL string functions, numeric data type, SQL signed versus unsigned function, and time and date format in SQL. Remember to practice all the concepts by your own to make yourself strong with the skill of SQL. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more exciting and informative content. Don't forget to turn on notifications so you never miss an update.